98 achievements, one save. This is Achievement Chaser. Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with uh, Achievement Chaser for FM21. I think this is episode 23. Uh, we've only played one game. Um, I've decided we're going to play this game versus Sintrense because we can win the league today. Um, we are 11 points clear of Olorense uh, in second, and we've got four games left. So if we win this game, um, or even get a point, I think. Basically, if they don't drop the gap to nine points, uh, so basically we have to avoid losing today, um, we will get promoted. Not promoted. Champions. <laughs> um, and we're playing Sintrense, who are already relegated, so... I feel like it's just going to be funny when we lose to them, so I thought I'd play it. Um, but we only played one game after that Olorenza game. It was against Fafe, who were third at the time. Uh, they still are third, actually. Um, and we won that one 4-2. Uh, it was at home. Oh, there's the goal. They started off actually uh, scoring the first goal from a corner here. Castro puts it in. It's cleared. Tavino gets onto it um, and then plays it back in at the back post and completely unmarked. Uh, he loses his marker there as I'm trying to click uh, the player. Um, but we got level on, on level terms from Raphael. Just a little uh, free kick and he's at the back post to, to level it up. Then we uh, Afonso gets a penalty just before half time on the stroke of half time pretty much and scores. Watmore gets our third. Take us up 3-1 um, and sort of put the game in a bit more comfortable area. Agrelos there, what more basically. So the goalkeeper really should have come out for it. Um, but we make it 3-1. Um, they actually make it 3-2 through uh, Renault here. Uh, Ruben Marquez back to Haruna. Top, long ball over the top, and you don't know where your centre-backs are running to, as per usual. Uh, and they put it in the back of the net there. Um, but we restore our two-goal lead through Zagomez um, with an 85th minute uh, goal. And then we had two... Uh, Two offsides after that. There we go. Great through ball by Watmore. Hasn't lost his assisting ability. And Zagomez puts it in for 4-2. We then had an uh, offside goal for us and then an offside goal for them. But in the end, it was 4-2. So uh, pretty good. We've only got four games left. So I feel like I'm going to do this game to go see if we can win uh, the league. Um, and see if any achievements come with that. And then we'll come back um, for a review at the end of the season to see how things went. But we're already promoted, so we are preparing for the second division. We've got our transfer budget, so we've got about 18k in the wages to look at. Um, so we're going to have to be investing because uh, the second division is going to be a lot harder, I feel, than uh, the third division. Probably going to have to try and get some loans back, maybe like Miguel Louise. Um, so we'll have to see, and maybe Tramal, we'll have to see about that. Um, but yeah, let's go straight into the game. Did I even show you the team lineup? I don't think I did. I think I went straight past it. Um, well, I think from, from memory, Afonso is out with an injury. Um, so Vieira, our little 17-year-old Brazilian right-back, is starting. Uh, Furlan is playing left-back. Oh, there we go. Vora's in goal again, Vieira. Sangari and Luis Silva, centre-backs. Furlan left-back. Berna in the hole. Miguel Luiz and Rafael playing centre-mid. Watmore on the right. Enrique on the left. And Zagomez up front. So let's let's just go into this and see. Really, this should be our crowning crowning glory. We're playing bottom of the top, playing bottom. We're 11 points clear. It should be an easy win. But... You know how FM is, and it is the first game I've, I'm playing since I've loaded it up. Maybe I should have a, se like a separate save where I sort of just play a couple of games when I load uh, load games up. Like, well, load FM up and uh, get all the, the losses out there. I've already done that, but okay, let's go straight into it. Skip that. Um, can we play? There we go. Straight back to 2D. No, we can't yet. We've got to... There we go. You've got to play one second, and then you can switch it for some reason. Um, but there we go. Okay, into the game. I haven't played in a couple of days, actually. Um, let's let's see how things go. It's been a quiet 10 minutes. But we've got a free kick, and that's 1-0. Louis Silva, great stuff um, straight away. There was no time to even sort of take that in. Um, just a free kick. Literally, I think those free kicks need a little bit more time before the kick. Even the highlight, Louis Silva gets highest there in Traore, the goalkeeper, with a poor effort of a save there. But we're up 1-0 through one shot, uh, so that's pretty good. Um... And it stays like that for now. 20 minutes in, nothing more's happening. They've had one shot 
off target. Vieira gets a yellow. He has been not the best at right back, to be fair. We are a bit weaker with him at right back, but it's very hard boots to fill with uh, Afonso as the starting right back. But they do have a chance here. They've got a throw in. Rodriguez but plays it directly to Rafael. There's a Gomez here on the ball. What more? Goes for the shot, and it's 2 0 within uh, 35 minutes. That was a very good shot because I didn't think that would be going in. The commentary is saying it's a fantastic goal. But, yeah, they completely throw there. Rafael steps up into here, plays it through to Uza Gomez, plays it into Watmore, and he just first time curls it. The goalkeeper really should be doing better. It's not even in the corner. But that's 2-0 to us. But there is a highlight from kickoff. Will it be us winning the ball back, or will they have another chance, actually? Or their first chance of the game? Gomez into Vidade, plays it long, our weakness, heads it on, but it falls to us. No one's really there. They're, they're, their striker's a bit sort of alone up front there, but uh, maybe we'll turn this into a chance for ourselves. The Gomez is through here. He's all by himself, but he doesn't need anyone else. That's his 15th of the season. Oh, my goodness. What a goal. He's catching Enrique, I think. I think Enrique's only on 16. So Gomez has sort of really put, uh, turned it on. What a great ball by Enrique. And I thought so Gomez was just going to wait for someone, but just... Oh, the goalkeeper really, really is some is poor. <laughs> my goodness, this is a bit a bit embarrassing. Oh, there's, a, there's a second highlight kickoff. Oh, my God. Can we get another one straight away? Please, that would be amazing. I haven't seen that before. They play it long. Oh, he misses it, though. Sangare. Iglesias, he's going to take the shot. Oh, it's wide. I was going to say, I've never seen two highlights pretty much in a row there. So, yeah, well, yeah what more and Gomez in the 34th minute? Oh, my goodness. That is that is pretty good. I, I wish it was a third one. That would have been incredible. But 3-0 at halftime. I think things are going pretty well. Um, I just need to play 24th in the league every every Livecom. That's how I can feel better about these Livecom wins. Um, performances, I guess. Oh, they play it long, to be fair. Sangari wins it. For land, you're going to try and win that? No, it's cut out, but Glacius actually gets to it here. It's 2 on 1. He just completely runs past one centre back and shoots into the side netting. Actually, he did quite well there, to be fair, for being on his own. Um, and we do have a Voring goal, so we need to look for a new goalkeeper for next year at least. Um, there's a few top positions I'm targeting. Uh, goalkeeper's one of them. Maybe centre backs, maybe um, attacking midfielders. Because Burner's, while well, it has been fantastic, I feel like we can upgrade on him. And obviously, if we can get the loans back, that'll be great. But if not, I think we might need to sort of look at centre backs and centre mids. We'll have to see, based, based on the competition, really, uh, see where it puts us. Um, and see how our scouting team, who who our scouting team comes up with, who we can sign. Um, but yeah, we've got a chance here. Burner just turns his man. Oh, Triori actually with the save there. I think it's his first actual save of the game, to be honest. Um, but this game's sort of pretty much dead and buried, um, which is quite nice. Uh, um, they do have a chance, though. I've, I've said this now. Vieira completely not marking his man. Paqueta on the ball. Wins it, fantastic, but just gives it straight back to him. Zang Afonso into Castro. They're sort of coming at us here. Verdade's made a great run, but he really should have finished that much early. He should have sort of st struck it a lot earlier there when we weren't really paying attention. But that's pretty good. Okay. Um, getting into the 70th minute now. We've got one more chance. Furlan going to throw it into Enrique. He's actually lost it. We've we haven't had we've been playing very poorly this second half, to be completely honest. They're having all the highlights. Luis Silva steps in though. Great uh, interception by him. And maybe we've got a chance for a fourth here. Burner on the ball. Gonna keep running forward. He just goes for the shot and the keeper tips it over. Um let's just pause it there. Let's see. Who is not doing the best? Um let's bring on a Gros for what more. There we go. What was that? Got his goal today. Played pretty well. Get some grid off some game time. Triori going to play it long. Oh, they've actually brought it down under two players there. They're getting all the chances now. We've really stepped off in this second half. We need to. We've already pressed him on. Well, Batala gets past our man. Iglesias is in. And our clean sheet's gone. They're winning the second half 1 0. Really poor. Our team has completely switched off. They really have. That was a really good goal from them. Well. Terrible by us defending-wise. Look, Furland just completely lets him run past him. Just just stops. And well, there's no marking going on at all there. Really poor second half from us, to be honest. I felt like we could get a few more. We've only had one XG, to be fair, the entire game. Um, yeah, we'll switch them over. I kind of want to have a go at them, but 
we're uh, winning. Let's let's see if we can throw on director for the last five minutes. Oh, we've got a chance here. Burner. Going to play it along to Anthony. And he's, he's got subbed on and he scored his first goal of the season in 3D. Probably one of the only live goals you've ever seen in 3D. So a, uh, a sacred moment there. Um, and then we get to see the replay. Put, puts the ball in. He just sort of loses his man. Keeper yet again, not doing very well. So I want to see if we can actually win, lift the trophy in 3D. Let's, yeah, throw that sub on. Oh, we've got another one. I don't know if this is a final highlight. Sangare. Oh, both centre-backs have scored now. So only only centre-back score in 3D, it seems, uh, in this series. What lovely little jump there by him. Um, is it Burner again? Yeah, Burner just putting the ball in. No marking. The keeper, awful again. And, it, and it's 5-1. Uh, so we've decided to sort of turn it on a bit. Oh, there we go. Yes, we are winning. There's me. There's my little little guy standing there waiting. It's only the first 11 got up to get it. Very odd. Is that... Wait, where am I? Is that is that me? Surely that must be me. Why am I shaking his hand? Oh, okay. Well, it's a little plate. It's not even a cup. No, it's, it's now the Champions League. <laughs> and I'm just standing there... No, oh, okay. I'm just clapping. Who is that? My assistant manager. I, I, I have so many questions, but we have won the Portuguese third division. That's pretty good. We're going around clapping everyone. Lovely stuff. Okay. Good. Good. Well done, lads. We sealed it. Um, I don't actually know if we've got any achievements uh, popping in. We do have to wait the media reaction. Oh, I hit the mic. Um, to wait the media reaction again that was a quick one that was a very quick one so we're top we were 11 points clear that did yeah Oliver Ente won 5-1 as well but imagine winning 5-1 and then still being upset um but I feel like they're gonna get promoted with us as well so we clinched the third division title great stuff they're very happy with it I think we were two years ahead of schedule on uh on getting promotion to League 2 so oh, we've both our centre-backs now out um, we've got a few more games to play um, but yeah I think we'll we'll play these last three games and then we'll just do I'll do it off camera and then we'll come back at the end of the season for a end of season review so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one uh, it's been Alex and I'll see you guys next time